have another trouble spot in Raleigh as well. Keenan Willard has been at Dixie Trail and Leonard Street in Raleigh. There's some cleanup needed there after some fallen trees. And boy, this isn't just a fallen tree. It's blocking an entire road there, Keenan. Pretty impressive. And now in the light of day, we can actually see this is multiple trees here. We came across this when it was still dark out. This is Dixie Trail heading close to Wade Avenue. If you know anything about this intersection, people take this very fast. And we've heard from families around here that this was a real trouble spot for drivers who nearly came close to hitting this massive tree that had crossed the road here. It doesn't look like it's impacted power lines, but now in the light of day, we know what happened here. Take a look at this picture. You can see the winds from yesterday in Hurricane Ian, tropical storm. At this point, ripped up the root base from this tree, sent it flying down onto another tree, and then both of them crossed Dixie Trail and blocked it off completely. We've seen a number of cars here now that people are starting to wake up here and survey the aftermath of the damage. They've had to stop here, kind of just shake their heads and turn around, find another way. So if you're trying to get through Dixie Trail here to Wade Avenue, you're going to have to find a different route this morning. We're staying on top of all of the traffic impacts that we've seen throughout the triangle. This seems to be one of the larger trees this morning, though, that in the light of day, we're just now coming across. So we'll continue to get updates from people out in the community, as well as emergency crews to see what other kind of traffic impacts we can see like this. Jeff. All right, Keenan Willard there live in Raleigh. Thank you.